just about set to go getting the nod on the mound Frankie Montas and singing a special day for him he's making his major league debut here and I'm sure he's got some nerves he'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues exciting moment he's got his family in town I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career all right ready to get underway and now here's a speed threat outfielder Corbin Carroll looking for his first big league oh, hit right outside. here misses outside three and one Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Geraldo Perdomo now at the plate. Runner on the goal. Lace down the line, and now maybe extra bases. Carroll headed for the plate. He scores, and they have the lead. 1-0. Safely into second. He's got a double. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Jack Peterson stands in. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level playing at night. Man at second. And another ball. Swings and misses, struck him out. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers can sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The oh. thrill is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. That's Just missed. One out, the runner at second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes the grab, two down. Now the Diamondbacks lineup as put together by Tori Lovello. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. And now one and two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. A run, a hit, and a man left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Diamondbacks one, and the Brewers coming to bat. here in Milwaukee and on the hill in this one Jordan Montgomery singing he's kind of a road warrior yeah 
I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. And a pitch. And another ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Wings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man on base to start the inning. Bryce Turan with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and had to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Jackson Chorio. And a pitch. And a foul ball. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Ground ball could be two. Over to Perdomo. That's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. And now it's William Contreras. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Ball to strike. To the right side. It's through for a hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Throw into third. He's in there. William Contreras with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Garrett Mitchell up now for the Brewers. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. And another ball. And he deals. Inside just missed. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Willie Adamas stands in. That's a strike. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. One runs in. Here comes the throw. Save. He beats it. The run scores from second. It's 2-1. Willie Adamas with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. 
Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Now here's Jake Bowers. And now the lefty. Oh. And downstairs. Three ball. Three straight. Two on, one out. Two low ball, ball four. And he's walked another. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Huge strike out there. So two down now. And here is Sal Fraley. And there's the strike. Mitchell on third, Adamas on second, Bowers at first, two out of the inning. a little bit high two and two man oh man I don't know how you take that pitch that's as close as it gets base hit one run in already now a second crosses the plate up by three it's four to one Sal Fraley with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. So first and second with two outs. Next for Milwaukee, Joseph Ortiz. And the pitch. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Nine men come to the plate for score. We move to the second in Milwaukee. It's the Brewers four, and the Diamondbacks one. Top of the second. Now here is Jake McCarthy. Jake McCarthy. That misses the zone. And now three balls and a strike. Down the line. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Payoff pitch. And there's ball four. Close pitch there, but you got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Next offering upstairs. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. The Diamondbacks trailing by three here at the top of the second. Here's a rocket out to left. Chorio racing over to make the catch. Here's Luis Guillorme. There goes the runner. 
Pitch misses. Safe at second, and that was not close. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around third, he'll score. It's 4 2. And that's a double. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. And it's second with one away. Now the D-backs catcher, Jose Herrera. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. One out and a runner at second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup, Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And a 1-1. Lifted in the air right center field. That gets down for a hit. Coming home. Fires it to the plate. He's safe. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Here comes a pitch. Rudder takes off. And that one fouled off. Man, is he fast. That's so fun to watch. Righty delivers. The oh. shortstop takes a ball. No. Just missed. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Jack Peterson. Waits on deck. Right-hander kicks, deals. Bounce to the left side. The throw to first. That ends the frame. They put two on the board with a couple of hits. No errors. And one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Brewers four and the Diamondbacks three. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's the second baseman, Bryce Terang. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Throws the first in time. One up, one down. Now the number two hitter, Jackson Chorio. And a pitch. Ball and that's three. outside. And that's ball three. One out, base is empty. And it's ball, ball, ball four. He missed down low. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The batter. Man at first with one gone. William Contreras up now for the Brewers. Kicks and fires. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. The pitch. 
Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Chorio, the base runner at first with one out. Line drive, base hit right field. Lead runner around second. And now a wide throw to third. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now the Brewers' cleanup hitter, Garrett Mitchell. On the ground to the left. That's a base hit as a run scores. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at bat he's never going to forget. Here's the shortstop at the play. Willie Adamas. Two on, one out. And now two and one. And a good eye there. Ground ball right side could be two. Good feed, that's one. And that's two. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 5-3. You're dialed into the show. Out of the third inning, here's Jack Peterson. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is three and one. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building your bullpens. Well, that splitter out of the hand, it just sort of jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it and you swing over the top, and that's why they call it a split-finger fastball because it looks like a four-seamer. And now it's Christian Walker. Up the middle. Tosses to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Now batting. Left fielder. Haven Smith. Two outs. Base is empty. Next up for the Diamondbacks. Haven Smith. A wind and a pitch. And a swing and a miss. One ball. Two straight. Just oh, missed. It's a good take. Oh. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Diamondbacks down quickly. Still a two run deficit. It's 5 3. As we go to the last of the third, here's the Brewers DH, Jake Bowers. Bowers. Out to short, Perdomo. Zips it to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Number 12, Reese Hoskins. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. 
He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. One down, base is empty. Rocketed out towards right center. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Number 10. Now it's the right fielder, Sal Fraley. Two out, space is empty. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And there's a foul ball. That's Swing great. and a miss, and he got him. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Gone in order are the Brewers, and it remains 5-3. Back here at American Family Field, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Jake McCarthy. The one one. Huh. First signs of bullpen movement here in the early going. Number 37, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Number 49, also getting ready. Softly to the right side. Hoskins steps on the bag. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now that third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. The 1 1. That one down the line. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a man aboard now with one away. Eugenio Suarez with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here now up next for Arizona, Luis Guillorme. And Just missed. And the right hater deals. Runner on the goal. Lifted in the air down the left side. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two down. Jose Herrera stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Two outs. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Hit in the air, center field. Mitchell makes the catch, and that is that. One left for the Diamondbacks. They're still down, 5-3. Bottom four, down the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. pitch That's and that ball. one a little below the knees two and one activity in the Arizona bullpen Ryan Thompson preparing to come on if needed Hughes a left-hander also throwing at the belt and fires that one fouled off two and two The 
pitch. And another ball. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Kicks and deals. Rip to short. Perdomo on to first. One out in the bottom of the four. This is Bryce Terang. This to third, lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time, he's safe. No problem beating out the infield hit right there. Good hustle getting down the line. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. At first with one gone. Jackson Chorio getting ready to hit and a pitch. That one fouled off. Terang over at first with one away. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to score it off. Into the outfield base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Jackson Chorio with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming dude. you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Jordan Montgomery is done. Got them some innings, but they didn't come easy. New pitcher coming on, and we'll be back after a quick break. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Ryan Thompson. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. And now here is William Contreras. Two on, one out. Foul ball there. Right handed reliever. Two and two. Runners at first and second with one gone. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Hit on the ground might be two. Over to Perdomo. That's one. And their second double play of the day will end the fourth. No runs, two hits, no errors, and one man left. We've played four. It's the Brewers five and the Diamondbacks three. There's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. D.L. Hall. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. This is Corbin Carroll. The right fielder, number seven. Corbin Carroll. And another ball. Right through there for a strike. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. 
No, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent base. And now Jack Peterson. The wind of the pitch. Up the middle, Adamas. And Arizona is set down one, two, three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Garrett Mitchell. The center fielder. Left hand batter waits. There's the strike. This one in the air. Perdomo settles under it. Makes the grab one away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right How there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Really? Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Up now for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas. And here it comes. Breaking ball inside, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Bases empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Gets it to first. And they get Adamas for the out. The designated hitter, number nine, Jake Bauer. Two outs, base is empty. And now the DH, Jake Bowers. Two down, nobody on. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Carroll sizes this one up and makes the play, and that's out number three. Top of the sixth inning. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. The, the first baseman, Christian Walker. That's off the mark, and it's two and one. Action in the pen down there. Jared Koenig getting ready to go. McGill, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. And he deals. Oh. Fouls one away and now three and two. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Mitchell moving back. And it's gone. And that should quiet this home crowd. His first homer of the year. It's 5-4.
on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. Gave it a great effort, but you know those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Now the left fielder, Pavin Smith. Ball to strike. The pitch. In the air, right side. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. The batter, the center fielder, Jake. So up next, McCarthy. Jake McCarthy. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. They try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. Got him swinging. Two down. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Next to hit for Arizona, A. Eugenio Suarez. The lefty fires. Diamondbacks draw a bit closer thanks to this home run. It's now a 5-4 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Brandon Fatt. This is his first appearance of the season. Number 32. Brandon Fenn. So digging in, Reese Hoskins. The, Brewers, the first baseman. Reese Hoskins. The pitch. Hoskins pushes it foul. So now one and two to Reese. That oh. one just misses. Activity in the bullpen. Kevin Ginkle, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. The why to kick the pitch. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple right of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And it's fouled away. And the pitch. Swings and misses. Two gone. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Into center and a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Joseph Ortiz with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming boo you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here so the batting order turns over Bryce Terang, the next to hit. Two outs. That Not one him. not close. Two and two. Oh. 
Here comes a pitch. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Milwaukee leaves one. They lead it 5 4. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Guillorme. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. And it's even up. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Chases that one out of the zone. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Here's the catcher, Jose Herrera. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Got him looking. That's out number two. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Corbin Carroll digs in now. Next offering is downstairs. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing for Arizona. They trail it by four. Welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Jackson Chorio. And now two and two. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Struck him out swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Yeah, the batter now, William Contreras. The 1-1. One, one. In the air, left field. Smith settles underneath it. He's got it, and there's two away. Now batting, center fielder, Garrett. Two outs, base is empty. Garrett Mitchell now at the plate. Two down, nobody on. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Brewers go down quietly as they hold on to a 5-4 lead. Obi Milner gets handed the rock out of the pen. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, one run game, and now the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. The shortstop takes the ball. Line, and 
gets a base hit. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Jack Peterson stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And one and two. The pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So here's the cleanup hitter, Christian Walker. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Line drive. Brings it in. Two down. Now the left fielder, Payton Smith. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. At the belt and fires. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. He's got it. And that is out number three. One left for Arizona. Still down a run. It's five to four. Bottom of the eighth. And the batter will be the shortstop. Willie Adamas. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. Well, these Brewers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. McCarthy makes the catch. And there's one away. The designated hitter. Jake. Next is the designated hitter, Bauer. Jake Bowers. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And a big swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's out number two. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And here's the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Two outs. Rips one to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. So the Brewers bring on a new pitcher from the pen, Devin Williams. A chance at his first save of the year. Well, one run game. And now the center fielder, Jake McCarthy. And the right hander deals. And the count one and two. A 
that's a little bit low. That's a really good take. First batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Right-hander kicks, deals to third. Fires over to Hoskins. And they're down to their last out. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Positioned perfectly. Luis Guillorme will hit next. Williams is just one strike away. On the ground. Oh, a great stop from his backside. But he beats it. Nice try defensively. Great hustle. And the tying run is on. One out away from this game being over, but an infield single keeps them alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last-minute spark. Two outs, runner at first. And now, Jose Herrera. 1-1 one, one now. Sneaks through, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Jose Herrera with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boo. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Here comes the new arm for the Brewers, Joel Pires. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's going to be Corbin Carroll. And the pitch. Ripped on a line. No one can get there. It falls in. One runs in, runner around third. The relay, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. So a ninth inning comeback here, and this game has been flipped on its head. We're all tied up, 5-5. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. A.J. Puck. He's been so good against lefties. Number 33, A.J. Puck. Leading off, Sal Fraley. One, two now. Just off the outside part of the plate. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Kevin Ginkle up and throwing. Martinez warming up as well. Kicks and fires. Oh. Okay. Joseph Ortiz in the Milwaukee on deck circle. Payoff pitch. That one lifted to left. And that'll fall for a base hit. Leadoff knock puts the winning run on base. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a good hit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So 
He just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And a count one and two. Winning run at first, nobody out. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Next offering upstairs. Two, two. 